Hey TBC Kindle, I'm Brother Tyler and we're here again today with another Kindle Daily Devotional. Today we're going to keep going in this uh, story of um, specifically Genesis 22. We're going to kind of go not necessarily verse by verse, but uh, at, at first that's, that's kind of what it's going to be. So we're going to keep going today and I'm going to talk a little bit about tests and trials that may come our way. And I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 22 and verse 2. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Now, upon first glance, you know, this is obviously something really strong, and it came straight from the mouth of God. This isn't just, you know, a trial or circumstance that God just allowed to happen. This is something that God authored. And this is so really interesting to consider because, you know, let's let's t let's just take a moment and look at Abram and Ab Abraham's uh track record. You know, God has called him uh from from the very first time that God called Abram, he said, "Get up, leave your father's house and go to a land that you don't know, but I do. And Abram gets up and goes. So God sees from that initial response, oh, this guy, this guy's serious. He, he hears the voice, he hears my voice and he does it. And time and time again, the leading of the spirit of God just takes him and blesses him all throughout this life's journey. And here he comes in this high point of his life, his, his son, is born the miracle child Isaac who his lineage is going to continue down um, through uh, God says I'm not going to establish my covenant with Ishmael I'm going to establish my covenant with your son Isaac the son of you and your wife Sarah now why on earth would God allow something like this to come up and, and rather why would God have this happen out of his own desire, out of his own will to test Abraham? And the answer is within the question, because he wanted to test Abraham. He wanted to see how far will is he really willing to go to obey my voice? Does he really fully trust me? And what I want to kind of encourage you today with is, you know, uh, you may be watching and you may be a member of the youth here at TBC or you may just be younger in general and not have gone through such heavy trials as like some of the elders in our church have. But I want you to tuck this this idea back in, uh, you know, in the back of your head, save it for a rainy day, maybe um, highlight this verse and go back to it in time of need. But think about this for a second. Any trial that you may be going through, whether now or in the future, someone in the past has overcome it. And that's the thought I want to leave you with today, is knowing that we can find comfort in the word of God, knowing I'm not the only one that's gone through such a trial as I'm in. There have been saints of days gone by, people of God from, you know, uh, the last a uh, few decades that I'm sure and I'm certain that have gone through what you what you may be going through in the future or right now someone has gone through it and came out of the other side with blessing and comfort and peace and you may be in a, a time right now where you don't know what's going to happen you're 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 afraid you can find comfort in the word of God knowing that God has taken his people through all the fire and all the trials and circumstances, and he's led them through and carried them through to victory. So I want to leave you with that encouragement today. I hope I uh, gave you encouragement and, and blessed you today. Thank you so much for watching this devotional. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. God bless.